This is what I'm talking about. We need this in the freaking United States of America. Why do we not have protests like this? I don't care uh, if, if it's going to be brutal and violent or whatever. We need this because politicians in the U.S. are not getting it through their freaking heads. <laughs> There were the protests in Berkeley. People were beaten within an inch of their life. Violent protests, uh, trash cans. It really wasn't a protest. It was a riot. The Antifa, which is a, a domestic terrorist group and their social justice warrior ilk, uh, decided to riot and protest throughout the streets, and it became a national story. Well, Cenk Uyghur over there, our, our favorite resident Armenian genocide denier, uh, actually had a different theory as to how these protests or riots erupted. And so, and and... Could the right wing come in masked, could it be 4chan guys who come in to cause trouble so that they can then turn around and do exactly what of they course. did today? Oh, you gotta take away the funding from Berkeley. I mean, they're teaching science over there, where they're teaching facts. Ugh, we hate facts, the right yeah. wing hates facts. No, no. What Attributing a motive. rice stock fire we just had. You guys don't understand how problematic all of this is, right? Ugh, yeah, because, problematic. first of all, if it was a clever strategy by the right, congratulations, it's working. So don't play into it, okay? But even if it's not a clever tr strategy by the right, and you have people on the left using forms of violence to protest this, again, you are part of the problem, and you're actually going to cause more harm than good. Hmm. So, well, barring the, dare I say it, Alex Jones-like conspiracy theory that it was some masked right winger, <laughs> let's assume for a second that these were actual liberals because they claim to be liberals sure. and they, they were found to be liberals. Let's assume that for a second. Hmm. I, I would wonder why, why would these liberals think that being violent is okay? Is there any reason out there? Is it possible? Just so happens we have an exclusive. We've unearthed some footage from the Young Turks that to, best of my, to the best of my knowledge, they've tried to scrub clean from God. the internet. This is from 2010. This came to us, thank you, uh, Lee Dorn. His channel was How the World Works. It only has like 15,000 plays on it. So people seem to have missed this. I, I could be wrong, haven't found it anywhere on the Young Turks channel. Here is after the violent protests and riots that erupted in France, here is uh, uh, I, I want to say Anita Sarkeesian, yeah, the one and the same. Anna Kasparian, straight from the horse face looking mouth. This is what I'm talking about. We need this in the freaking United States of America. Why do we not have protests like this? I don't care. Talking about uh, violent if, protests. If it's going to be brutal and violent or whatever. We need this because politicians in the U.S. are not getting it through their freaking heads. And we have Republicans right now in Senate and in the House that are saying, you know, let's do away with Social Security. They're not saying it explicitly. But that is what they want, and they're saying, yeah, 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 why should we retire at 65? Let's make all these motherfucking <laughs> Americans retire at 70. F*** <laughs> you. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. This is, this I, is, this, th I love this story. She said the F word, you know, it's real talk. Gonna real get talk. Me and they're going to say, look, these protests get violent, people get hurt. Obviously, I understand yeah. that, but that's what democracy is all about. It's about fighting for your rights, going out there. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. I'm very proud of the French right now. So who would have thought that when you would have given a literal call to action, violent leftists would have taken it literally, Anna. And here's something I, I hope people are finally catching on because a lot of people used to like Bernie until they didn't. They used to give us flack. They used to like the Young Turks until now they don't. The, the, the left doesn't want to take responsibility for their actions. I know you don't want to say it's left versus right. Pretty clearly the Young Turks, the left. They are emblematic of the left. And whenever people say, you know, I, I was with the Young Turks, I used to be. I mean, even our friend Sargon of a cat. I, I, I've always maintained this argument. Same thing with Dave Rubin who worked with them. And they say, I used to be there, but until they went off the rails. No, no. That's the Young Turks in 2010. They didn't go off the rails. You were simply off the rails with them. You're now back on the rails. Kind of like people say, well, you know what? I liked Bernie until I found out. No, 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 listen. Bernie didn't just all of a sudden become a social justice warrior, Black Lives Matter, white privilege checking, wage gap, myth perpetuating, social justice leftist. Frick. He didn't just wait. <laughs> he, he didn't just wake up that day. You just used to look past that because of your hatred of conservatives and desire for free stuff. But now, now you've realized it. The Young Turks didn't just all of a sudden wake up and become free speech, hating, politically correct, ad hominem centered, Armenian genocide denying, dishonest, social justice warrior protests. They were always that way. They yeah. were always that way. So don't act as though at some point, try and cover, oh, you know what? I was with them until. That's 2010. That was when they were getting started. If you were with them then, you just didn't see them for what they were. If you were with Bernie in the primaries, you just didn't see him for what he was. But now you've walked into reality. 
and you're very welcome to be here. We are so glad to have you. Hey, if you like this video, subscribe by clicking the button that says subscribe. If you're not aware of it now, there's no way you're learning the internet at this point. I'm not going to help you. But this was clipped from my daily show, available exclusively to lotterwithcredit.com slash mug club members. If you're a student, military, or veteran, enter in that promo code. It's less than $6 a month, and you get daily content. No more clips, plus this hand-etched mug. Oh, I just, when I feel it, I got a chill, like, on the inside.